Rising. So Rising is probably, in my opinion, one of the most important, if not the most important, technical strength. Uh, rising makes you have the higher hand, which means you get to use more musculature against the other person. You target their fingers. So right away, that means that you're putting the pressure in their fingers while they're touching some part of your hand, which means you get to use your arm as well as your hand potentially against maybe just their fingers. So it's about efficiency, using more musculature. They made a movie about it. Over the top, the top roll. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the biggest parts of arm wrestling is winning the hand battle. And so much of that can be about rising. I equate the rise to the jab in boxing where it's kind of the first thing you can kind of reach somebody with and it sets up everything. The rise makes every single move that you do more powerful. If you have a good rise, every single technique will be better because of it. Even a flopperous press. Even a, it's essential to some moves. Essential. So how I've done the rise has changed a little bit over the years. Part of the rise is the concept of not holding on. So when you're rising, you're really not holding on. You're trying to make the other person hold on to you in a pure rise. Now in arm wrestling, everything does work together. Now over the years, my grip has changed a little bit when it comes to rising. So I still use a belt. Now there's a couple ways that I rise. So sometimes when I'm doing more rehab style, I will wrap like this and this is a very precise way to do your rising however I find that its balance is questionable for like near 1RM or or heavy lifting so I, I typically stay away from it for my heavy lifts the way I used to do belt lifting more with rise is something like this i would rise in this kind of a fashion but now i've found that to be more precise it should be directly the middle part of the belt should be directly on the knuckle because i think that this is the most vital part of the rise is the ability to bang that knuckle up now when i rise i don't always keep my wrist straight sometimes I will kick it back a little bit and I'll practice my rise in a bent back position I find that uh, quite often in an arm wrestling match if you're fighting exclusively for rise and it starts to get close simply kicking back the wrist slightly and continuing to rise will put all the chips in the rise department kind of a gambit as well kind of giving away a piece hopefully somebody takes it and then you establish the rise um, you can continue to slide the grip down. Okay, you see a lot of people doing lifts like this. Okay, or or really getting it down low. Okay, still heavy on the rise, but uh, more of uh, just a back pressure lift, not really focusing so much on uh, having the high hand. So. How's my rise look right now? Uh, 2023, I don't know what date it is. I don't know, it's, is, it, is it August? Yeah, is it, I don't even know what month it is, hardly. 50, 60, 70. Oh, no, no, that's a 15, sorry. 50. Oh, okay, the middle one's a 15. 50, 60, 75, 85, 90, 91, 25. So I was stuck at around, I, I don't have like a really good rise lift even though I train it all the time. 91.25 is, is good, I'd say it's not, it's not great. Some people have way higher numbers. Um, I work consistently, I've, I've recently had uh, like a 10 pound jump in it which I'm super happy with. Anyways, this is, this is it. Nice and slow, very precise, so I don't, uh, I don't mess it up. Just stay on that rise hard. <sighs> ah, 
Easy left. Easy left. Always be climbing. Efficiency, endurance, technical superiority. Rise. Maybe the number one lift in arm wrestling.